power resources. Before we start our lesson, I would like to give you a little bit of definition on energy. Now, energy means the capacity for doing work or a force that produces an activity is known as energy. And when we come, come down to this energy, there are two types of energy. They are conventional and non-conventional source of energy. And I've written on the board, you can put that on the board. Uh, conventional source of energy, like example, coal and petroleum. Non-conventional source of energy, we can give an example of wind and sun. The definition of conventional, conventional source of energy will be like those resources that have been used for many years and that are very limited, whereas non-conventional source of energy are those that are abundant, that are not limited, and they are eco-friendly. On the board, I have written four examples of conventional source of energy. They are one, coal, two, petroleum, three, natural gas, four, electricity. Let me give you some small definition of this one by one, coal. Coal is created from decaying from um, plant materials over millions of years. Once the coal is used, it becomes ash. One third of the coal is being used on this world nowadays. Second, that is uh, petroleum, is a liquid fossil fuel. Uh, wells are dug in order to take out this petroleum on land and offshore sh uh, offshores to bring out oil. The cart oil are sent to refineries industry in order to refine it. And the byproducts, the byproducts that are uh, left out after refining the crude oil, it is known as um, nodal industry. It can be used and it is very much helpful for other industries too. Petroleum, it is liquefied fossil fuel. Uh, in order to take out this uh, Petroleum wells are dug on land or offshores, and those cut oil is sent to refineries industry to refine. While refining this cut oil, some of the byproducts that are that comes out from the petroleum is used is used even for another industries. Those byproducts can be termed as nodal industry. Third, natural gas. This gas is one of the cleanest energy resources found associated or without uh, associating with petroleum. One advantage of natural gas is that it do not need drilling process. Under natural gas, there are two types of natural gas. One is LPG that are used at home for our domestic use. And another is known as CNG that are used for running vehicles. The full form, form of LPG is liquefied petroleum gas. And then the full form of CNG is compressed natural gas. The fourth one, that is electricity. Electricity has varied uses in today's world. Without electricity, most of the work are useless and then half done. There are two types of electricity, that is hydroelectricity and thermal electricity. Hydroelectricity are those electricity that are derived or that are generated from water, flowing water, that is. And thermal electricity are those that are derived from, from turbines, turbines of natural gases. Next, our topic is non-conventional source of energy. Non-conventional source of energy are those energy that are found abundantly on the earth. It is eco-friendly and they are not limited. Examples like solar energy, tidal energy, wind energy, geothermal energy, and biogas. Let me give you a little bit definition of all those energy under non-conventional source of energy. Solar energy are those energy that are derived from the sun. Tidal energy are those energy that comes out or that can be used or that are derived from oceanic, oceanic tides or waves. Wind energy are those energy that can be used or derived from blowing of wind. Geothermal energy are those energy that are derived from the heat of electricity from the interior of the earth. 
and biogas are those energy that can be made from sharks, human waste, animal waste, etc. The next topic from this lesson is on your board, that is nuclear or atomic energy. It can be very much important or it will be very important and it is important for your map plotting also. The nuclear power station that are located in India, we have six. One, Tarapur, it is located in Maharashtra. Two, Kalpakam, it is located in Tamil Nadu. Third, that is number three, Rakwabatha, that is, is that it is located in Rajasthan. Four, Narora, it is located in Uttar Pradesh. Five, Kagrapara, it is located in Gujarat. And then six, it is Kaiga, that is located in Karnataka. And these are the six nuclear power stations located in India, and it will be very much helpful for your map plotting. Last, when we come down to the last part of the lesson, we have learned from this lesson that some resources are limited and some are abundantly found in India or in this earth. The foremost duty of us or the foremost duty of all of us is that we need to protect and we need to find out some of the measurement how to protect the resources that is limited in this world. Thank you.